Here's how I created this money counter effect in After Effects. The first thing that we need to do is we need to enable the action grid and we want to get ourselves the text tool. We're just going to left click on the screen, drag this out and type in zero in the text box. We also want to align the text box with the grid lines and we can drag this up to touch the text. You want to make sure that your text is center aligned and from here we can go to the first tool press Control Alt and Home, and we can center align the text box in the middle of the screen. Now, in order to animate this, we need to get ourselves a slider control and drag this to the text. You want to open this up, open up the text, and hold in Alt or Option key, you can left click on the stopwatch. We want to drag the pick whip up to the slider at the top to link them up. And we're going to add a dollar sign or a currency symbol in front of the text by typing speech mark, a currency symbol of your choice. So I'll be using a dollar sign and the speech mark plus. At the end of here, we also want to type in dot value dot two fixed. And what this will do is it will allow us to place a two inside of the brackets which means to only show two decimal places. We can then left click off of this. And as you can see, we now have a basic money counter right here. However, nothing is going to happen yet until we start to play around with the slider control at the top. So let's say, for example, we wanted this to count from zero at the start all the way up to $100 right here. We would get ourselves a keyframe at the start right here, set it to zero, and then go further out and set this one to 100. And as you can see, we now have a nice little counter counting up to $100. Now, if you wanted to get extra fancy with this, like I have, and separate the dollar sign from the actual numbers, you can go to Animate, go to Fill Color, RGB, and we're going to open up the Range Selector. You want to lower the end percentage to somewhere around let's say 15% and then also open up the advanced and we're just going to set the smoothness to zero. We can then minimize this and we can change the color to a nice positive green color. And there we go, we now have a nice color change to the dollar sign, a counter which is counting up. If you wanted your animation to be quicker, you can open up the effects open up the slider control and just move the second keyframe closer to the first one and this will speed up the animation. If you want it slower, you can move it further away and this will slow it down. You can even swap the keyframes over and this will change it and make it count down from 100 down to zero. Now let's say that you're working with much larger numbers. So for example, thousands or even a million in this case. What you would do in that situation is you would first of all, set your second number to 500,000. And as you can see at the moment, we have the 500,000, but we have the missing comma right here. What you want to do now is you want to edit your expression and type this right here. There'll be a link down below on this video. You can just simply copy and paste this expression right here. And what this will basically do is the first line of code will tell it to add the dollar sign. The second line of code will allow you to modify how many decimal places you want. So for example, right now we have two. You can even remove this if you only wanted it to be rounded off to the nearest whole number. But since we're working with a currency, I would recommend having a two decimal place. And of course, the last piece of code will also tell the expression to add a comma to separate the thousands. You can also see though that this has created another problem at the beginning, and it's also included the five at the start as well. But that's completely fine because we can open up the range selector and just lower the percentage down to 10%. And now it will only target the dollar sign. And if you wanted to, like I said before, you can always change the numbers. We can even change this to a million by typing a million at the top right here. And it will also include the second comma right here as well. And this will make it go from zero all the way up to a million right here. If you wanted to, you can also go to the text tool, 
you can left click on here, select the text, and you could change the color to a positive green. You can even change it to a negative red. And if you want to, you can also add negative numbers by typing a minus in front of the number.